skates. He jumps <laughs> over top of him, and he's got a touchdown. Did not see that coming. He gets 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 on his feet still, and he's gone for a 90-yard carry. Put that on your highlight reel from 45 yards out. There's the turnover. And a great ball. It's complete for a touchdown. Good afternoon and welcome to APSIS Game of the Week here. We come to you from the Bookdale CLC and the home team on the scoreboard. The Bookdale Griffins are facing the visiting Kenmore Garfield Rams. Both teams come into today's action three and three overall. The Rams Rams in their road in their road white uniforms with maroon and gold pants. The Griffins with the silver and black tops and red pants today. Bookdale will kick off. Kenmore going to go right to left on your screen as we get ready for action. Joe Pekanski bringing it to you here solo today on a sunny but chilly <laughs> afternoon here from Bookdale. Griffins coached by Ricky Powers and Kenmore Garfield by Kent Boyd. Kenmore Garfield off to their best start in years here. Three wins at this point in the season, looking for a 500 or above season. Bookdale looking to defend that City Series title that they are always on top or, or battling for. Be, looks like it'll come down to them and the Dragons. And look at that kickoff in the back of the end zone by Dylan West. And he is a weapon. And that will be a touchback. Kenmore Garfield will take over on their own 20. <laughs> Both teams three and three. The yellow Orangemen are four and three overall. But uh, Dragons and Griffins, again, heavy favorites to reconvene in that title game once again. And that matchup with them coming up in a couple weeks is one we'll cover. It's a big one. Run bounced outside, and he'll get a couple of yards. Number five. Number 15, Javon Fisher on the carry. We'll give him a couple yards. He's corralled actually four yards, and we have an official timeout here. Clock issues, and we're gonna we're gonna get it straightened out. Eleven forty five on the clock. Oh, and we're gonna have a false start on the right side of the line there. First penalty for the Kenmore Garfield Rams. Second and eleven now for the Rams. We got some motion on the play, and they're going to go counter left in a big hit here on the left side. But some positive yards at time number one. Grandison Jr. Give him three on the gain. Going to bring up third and eight for the Rams. What they want to avoid here is those third and long situations. Thank you. 
clock issues. We're trying to get them sorted out here up in the booth. It's going to be a third and eight for the Cardinals. Should be 11.25 left here in the first quarter. Third down, shotgun formation, quarterback number three, Lamont Evans. Drops back, and nothing doing. He gets to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. It's gonna bring out three and out. Good job by the Griffin defense. It's gonna force Kenmore Garfield to punt. And Grandison Jr. was was dinged up, and they're going to make him come out. Looks like he took a hit. We're up fifth, fourth down in a slow start here from Griffin Stadium. High snap, and it goes through the hands. And they're going to cover it up on fourth down. And that will turn it over deep in Griffin's territory. They'll take over with a very short field to work with. So now Griffin's ball as they'll take over, led by Ricky Powers. Gonna come out, looks like, looks like with a full house backfield. Devon Bracey under center. They're gonna go tailback, right side. And he, Scampers. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Marquell Cook on the carry. Give him five. Going to be second and goal here for the Griffins. Devon Bracey got the full house backfield, double tights, wishbone set. They're going to give it again to Cook, and he cuts what left, and he is in the end zone for a touchdown. Marquell Cook from three yards out, and just like that, the Griffins on the board. Didn't take long for them. Bookdale has played that traditional, tough, non-conference schedule here, and they're looking to dominate here once they get into league play. Devin West on for the extra point for the Griffins. Devin West, low snap, and it's blocked. Great penetration there. It looked like number 11, Kashawn Jordan might have been the first one through, but a nice job by special teams to keep it at 6-0. 10-13 left in that first quarter and a quick off of the turnover, off of the bad snap on the punt. Marquell Cook from three yards out. Extra point block, 6 nothing Griffins. There's a chance to let you know that the Akron Public Schools offers the best and most affordable early learning and pre-kindergarten education in the area. Go to akronschools.com to learn more. akronschools.com. Mm -hmm. 
West going to boot this one off. The last one he kicked off through the back of the end zone. We'll see how much foot he'll get into this one. His extra point was blocked, though. West squares it up and drives it. This is going to be another touchback. That one goes about eight yards deep. So two for two on touchbacks for West. Kenmore Garfield will take over their second try here from the 20 yard line. Second possession here again for the Rams. Pistol formation. Three tight backs and they're going to give it to the second man through and nice job shedding a tackle and breaking through the line. There's number six. That is Dorora Wilson. Wilson scampers for four. So all positive plays so far, no negatives other than the penalty and the bad snap, and that's what leads to easy points for the Griffins. Second and seven. Back under center is Evans. Man in motion, and a keeper on the right side, maybe a yard. Third and six now for the Rams. This Bookville Griffin defense has been pretty stout so far this year. They've given up some points on, on some occasions, but they always have big play capabilities and always synonymous, this Bookville Griffin's defense with pressure. Counter goes to the left that this time, and they can't shed the tackle. Devon Greenlee did not let Kid get out of his way. So we've seen several people run it, but no big gainers yet. And that's going to be a fourth down. See if they're back to punt here. There looks like they may be going for it here. Deep in their own territory. Good quick punt it here. And another bad snap over the head. So two possessions and two snaps over the head. This one's going to be a long loss for Evans. And I didn't know if he was maybe going to punt that. But they lose 13 on the bad snap. And again, Buchtel takes over first and goal two times into this ball game. Griffins take over their second possession. In the backfield, you have Cook, you have Jamarcus Portis, and you have the man with the ball right now on the pitch left, and great defense there. As Marvin Jordan Jr. cannot get loose. Jordan Jr. loses a yard on that one. And we have a flag down, though. It's going to be a face mask, so that'll negate that. So 
move that half the distance to the goal, it looks like. Or five yards from the end of the run, I should say. It's basically a wash. Still first down here. Now if they, they take the penalty. Full house backfield again for the Griffins. This time a fake rolls left and wide open in the end zone off the play fake. To Marcus Portis. Leaks out for the easy score and the nine yard touchdown. So Bracey off the great play fake finds him. Griffins with another quick strike. Two scores without needing a first down as special teams miscues for the Rams have led to two quick scores. That extra point is up and good. And just like that, it's all Griffins. So a nine yard TD reception. All Griffs here early, 13 to zero. Fine arts are alive and well at Akron Public Schools. Our three facilities, Miller South School, Firestone Community Learning Center, and Akron School for the Arts all offer award-winning programs that include a commitment to sequential arts courses designed to develop advanced skills in a specific arts focus. Learn more at our website, akronschools.com. APSIS, you can follow us again at akronschools.com, facebook.com slash akronpublicschools, twitter.com slash akronschools, and our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash akronschools. That's how you follow us. That's how you watch these great highlights and full games as well on our YouTube channel. See all the good things. And fast forward, you know, skip through the bad. Griffin's going to get set here to kick it off again. That one line drive, and that one hits at about the two, but bounces through the end zone. So three kicks and three touchbacks for West doing his job. And it was 7.22 here in the first quarter. Kenmore Garfield is going to try to get things going. Both teams here uh, without a first down. But Buchtel has dealt with a short field, and that has been led to two easy scores really so far for them. We'll see if... Kenmore Garfield can get things moving, get things going here, moving the sticks a little bit, keep the ball. They've had four or five different guys run it already. Timeout called by the Rams. They're first. And that timeout gives us a chance to let you know. That, well, it gives us, me a chance to let you know that we now have online registration. Now at APS, Akron Public Schools makes it easier now than ever to sign up for classes. Go to akronschools.com to find out more.
Shotgun, and that one goes, and there's a hole there. Bumbling and running over, folks. A nice run by Javon Fisher. One cut that one up for a nice gain. But, but, flag down. And maybe that's in that general area of holding, which might have led to that hole being as gaping as it was. We'll see, though. They're talking it over. It's going to be a dead ball, it looks like. And it's going to be in sportsman like so. They just can't get out of their own way here. They get the first down with the run, and then we're going to take it back 15. And it looks like oh, they're going to set the chains. It's going to be a first down. So gain, gain of 12 for Fisher, and then the 15-yarder be a first and 10 because they did get their first first down of the game. That one, not much doing there for number six, Wilson. Give him, give him a yard. So second and nine here for the Rams. One wide to the left, split backs. Low snap, it's handle a quarterback keeper. Nothing doing there. And we'll lose two or three yards for Evans. Loss of two, we're gonna bring him up a third and 11. Only halfway through this first quarter. Bookle defense looking pretty stout thus far. Third long, we'll see if Kenmore Garfield airs it out here. Kashawn Jordan out here, one on one coverage to the left. Bookle looks to be coming. They're going to go counter right, runs through a tackle. Again, that was Javon Fisher. Gets about three. Again, it'll be in punt formation. They got to get this one off. This snap, two high ones. This one better be lower. <laughs> might be, uh, might roll it back there. That one is back. They just punt it in the shotgun formation. This one's returnable. But well covered so far, but he bounces out. And a nice little return by Martavian Johnson. Bookta will take over with their worst field position by far, but they still get it at the Kenmore 34-yard line. So the good news there was that Kenmore Garfield got a first down, got things moving. The bad news, penalty kind of pushed him back and a couple negative plays, book defense stepped up. So no, no full house here. Now they're in trips to the right here and they're gonna go that way. And that one high and through the hands of the leaping Josiah McCann, incomplete. He didn't look like Bracey had a good grip on that one, kind of sailed on him. Now we're going to go trips the other way. Now time they're going to give it to the running back, Marquell Cook. 
Give Cook five. Injured player down for the Rams. Bring up a third and five here for the Bookdale Griffins. 429 left here in the first quarter. Third down coming up here for the Griffins. We're going to go trips here again to the right side. And they're going to go that little screen pass out. Got a little block and tight ropes the sideline for a first down. That was Martavian Johnson. Needed three, got five. That's enough for a book till first down. Or no, it's not. Looks like it's a little short. Not a great mark. We'll bring up fourth down. I'm pretty confident that they're going to go for it here. And why not? It looks like they'll stay in shotgun formation. And this is going to be a quarterback keep. And he did not get there. He didn't, didn't quite follow the blocker. And a great hold by the Kenmore Garfield defense. Yeah, Bracey just didn't get, get to the line. That's one bad thing about going from the shotgun in that situation. He loses a yard, and Kenmore Garfield takes over. So a big stop for them. They really needed that badly. Something to get that momentum. <laughs> Shotgun formation. Give is to Fisher. He's going to bounce it. He's got some real estate, but he's upended after a gain of about two yards. Darren Spoony did a nice job of run support coming up and upending Fisher on that one. Second in long. 340 and counting here in the first quarter. Stays in that pistol formation. Give is to the first man through and swarmed was Grandison Jr. And we're going to have a late flag coming in from the way outside. Somebody must have took the swing or something. We'll see what the call is here, but man, not great flow here. And there. That's going to be on the Griffins. Their first penalty. We get a great stop there, and then a costly 15 yarder. That will be Kenmore Garfield, the second first down. And, and finally, giving themselves a breathing room, getting out of that where they're deep in, in their own territory. Under center this time. Split backs with a tight slot. Coming back to that wing. They give it to the first man through. Positive yardage. Running back on that one was number 26, Jimmy Spaulding, his first carry.
Give him a short three. Second and a long seven here. Back under center is Evans. He's going to give it to Fisher. Fisher cuts and he gets forward and squirts his way close to a first down. Give Fisher five. He's been the workhorse so far. Five carries, 25 yards for Fisher. He's going to bring a third and manageable two. See, his first two drives, they were sitting third and eight, third and nine, third and 11. Now, in a manageable situation. Now, where the spot is, it's more like third and three, it looks like. Definitely around midfield. I could see them with, see this being four down territory. High snap again, but it's handled by Evans. Huge rush, and he makes a great cut to get the first down and more. He was in serious trouble there, but he made the most out of what could have been a bad situation and gets the first down and moves the sticks for the Rams. First and 10 now, in plus territory here. They're gonna go to Fisher. He cuts it back, but he is upended. Good pursuit. By number 55, Ricky Good in company. No gainer for Fisher on that one. And another flag is down. Man, a lot of, a lot of after the Hey, we are going, we are going NASCAR from, from this point up. This and the Griffins here, two big major fouls here, unsportsmanlike and a personal foul. That'll lead to another first down for Ken Moore Garfield. One minute, some change here in the first quarter. Boy, 10 players in the box for the Griffins. And a nice cut. He takes that outside. He's not going to get anything, but the nice cut to get it up there. Get some three yards for Lamont Evans. Ortavian Johnson brings him down. We'll see if the Buchtel defense can hold here. Second and six from the 30. Uh, about the, about the 20, 27 yard line. Check that. Oh, they run him outside and, and he could have cut it up. He doesn't get to it. The hole, he tries to bounce it outside and that is not a good recipe against the Griffin defense. Fisher loses six on the play. Not going to outrun this Griffin team east-west. And so far, Kenmore Garfield's been doing a good job of getting north-south, but they tried to stretch it out that time to no avail. And that will bring the end of the first quarter. All Griffins here so far up 13-0 after one. Forget at the end of this one, we will pick your APS Information Station Player of the Game. And remember, you can like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our channel on YouTube to catch all of your APS sports action. Get ready for your, for the second quarter. Also want to let you know, the pre-engineering program is among the best in the world. Robotics teams have been winners in world and national tournaments. 
Where, you ask? It all starts here in Akron Public Schools classrooms. Learn more at akronschools.com. Start the second quarter, and they'll change sides and change ends here. Big third and 13. Couple wings tight here. So we're going to roll right. Quarterback in a counter keep to the left. Breaks a couple of tackles. And if it wasn't for Jamatius Portis, Evans would have had a big gainer. As is, he gets five of those back, and it looks like they'll go for it here on fourth down. So some signs of life here for Kenmore Garfield. Their biggest issues have been with snaps. Two bad snaps led to two short fields and two quick scores for the Bookdale defense. They were stopped on their third possession on fourth and one on a great hold. Kenmore Garfield getting set. Oh, and they get. They get the offensive line to, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, they get the defensive line to jump offside. That's going to take them five yards. Coast. So it's a good discipline there by the Kenmore Garfield offensive line. Good hard count by Evans to draw them off sides. Third penalty by Buchtel for 35 yards. Three penalties also for Kenmore Garfield for 25 yards. He's going to roll left, and he's got a man open, and he hits him. First down and more. Nice pitch and catch by Evans as he finds... Chael Johnson leaking out. Nice little easy throw on fourth down to the flat, and they get about five more than they needed. So the first pass, a successful one for Kenmore. Their fifth first down here in this drive. A couple aided by a penalty and a couple big plays there. That one on fourth down. Chance to score and get back in this game inside the red zone. 16-yard line give is the trap up the field, and that one was open. Number 26, Jimmy Spalding hit that hole quickly. Biggest gainer of the night. Give him 13 yards. They're going, they're going quick here. And I don't know if Spalding went the wrong way or Evans opened up the wrong way. Right but that play was stuffed. Flags in the secondary. Might have been a substitution infraction. Yep, substitution infraction, I think. Oh, no, dead ball penalties. Second and goal from the four for the Rams. Trouble with the snap, but they get it, and they go to the left side, and I thought they were in, but no indication. Doror Wilson looked like he was going to score, but they stopped him at the one-yard line. Third and goal. There's an indication, and touchdown, Rams. A great drive there by the Rams. That was the keeper by Evans. One-yard touchdown run, and the Rams get themselves back into the ball game. Nine fifty three left in the second quarter quarter. Rams going for two. Uh, 
They're going to give it off tackle, but no, stopped just short of the goal line. And again, I know we've mentioned them several times on both ends of the field, but that was number three, Jamatius Portis. That was a very good football play in open space. So the Griffins there, a couple penalties that really cost them. And congratulations and commendations to Kenmore Garfield. They took advantage of that to get the score and make get this back to a one score game. We'll see how Bookdale responds with it, their first sense of a little bit of adversity in this ball game. Kenmore Garfield going to kick it off. This quick break gives me a chance to let you know that football today is brought to you by APSIS, Ag APS Information Station. APS were known as being determined, dynamic, resourceful. And we'll see on this kickoff if they can be resourceful. We got a big hole to the outside. The Griffins get to the 40. What a move. And knocked out of bounds by number 27, Clinton Kodjo. Martavian Johnson did a great job of circling the field and then hit the old joystick button on the uh, controller, made a great move in the open field and good field position for the Griffins as they take back over on offense. Griffins back in the shotgun. Forget formation. Deep eye here with it. And we're going to have a timeout as they didn't like what they saw. They're giving me plenty of chances to pay the bills here. And I will do that by letting you know. International Baccalaureate Program, or IB, is integrated now into many of the Akron public schools for accelerated and more challenging learning. Go to akronschools.com to find out more about the International Baccalaureate Program. Griffins use their first time out. They're going to give it to the second man through. They're going to follow that fullback. And that was Markwell Cook who leaps his way to a four-yard gain. Ball in midfield. Now the Griff's going to go a little bit up-tempo here. Receiver to each side. Two backs again. And that pitch and catch out to the flat. Incomplete intended for number seven. Or for Johnson, actually. Mortavian Johnson looks like he tried to turn up field just a little too quickly. Third and six now for the Griffins. We got a broken face mask. That's number 75, Darkell Robinson. A big guard is going to have to come out because they're going to work on that helmet. Little 
pitch to the outside and up depends where they mark it it's going to be close cook nope they give it to him give him six needed six give him six first down the first first down of the game here for the griffs They're going quick again, are the Griffs. Downhill Cook breaks through one, but good job gang tackling by the Kenmore Garfield Rams. He was popped, and Cook is slow to get up, but he does. Give him two yards with forward progress. Marquell Cook, six carries, 25 yards so far, and a touchdown. And we have a man down here for Kenmore Garfield. Both teams look like they're going to huddle up. And I don't know why, because I didn't think there was a timeout taken. Coach is going to, I think, you're going to wind it up here. Yep, let's go. <laughs> so second down and, yeah, looks like eight. Twins here to left. Johnson in motion, faking the jet sweep, and they run a little stop route. Good ball there. Nice job of high pointing the football by number five. Number five is Damon Gibbons, his first reception. Give him four on that one. So, no big plays yet. Short passing game, but there could be a big play. But no, Cook loses the ball but gets it back. I think he saw the hole as big as I did and got a little loose with the football. But as is, it's going to be nice gain. 16 for Marquell Cook and a first down. Bookto making me work here as they're looking to go quickly. Single receiver to the left. Twins to the right. He looks left and then goes back to the right. And that one late, and it's going to be picked off in the end zone. And Kenmore Garfield, they came out slow, but they're not going away. Interception by number nine, DeMarco Thomas. That one kind of hung up there. And how about... The big turnover. And that one was in the end zone, so that kind of a fortunate for Kenmore Garfield. If it was at the one, they'd be in some bad field position. But with it in the end zone, it'll be a touchback and come out to the 20. And Boyd gets a timeout because they were not going to get that playoff. Second of the half for, for the Rams. And they will uh, talk things over here. Yeah, give me a chance to I'll let you know some of the people that make this possible. We would like to thank, APSIS would like to thank um, uh, some of our sponsors, Richie Sporting Goods, for their support of Akron Schools and Athletics. 
Ritchie Sporting Goods offers a wide variety of school spirit items, embroidery, corporate apparel, and trophies for your next event. Also, APSIS thanks Coles Garage for their support of the Akron Public Schools and Athletics. Coles Garage Incorporated, providing comprehensive auto repair at affordable prices to get you back on the road. They've been doing it for over 40 years. Back to action here. Right up the gut, and it's broken again. And you got to be impressed with this Kenmore uh, Garfield team up front. They're they're winning some battles here early. Spalding again gets ten. And I do. I like the uh, I like the philosophy here. We are going to keep it tight, little wing T movement, and run the ball right at them. Inside seven minutes here in the second quarter. They go off tackle. They had a good gainer again, but a good tackle in the open field by number 25, Tyreek Wood. That could have been a big play if not for Wood coming in filling. Nice solo tackle. Good gainer for Fisher, though, on first down. We'll bring up a second and five. That could go either way. Definitely we would have had an offsides, but I think the right side of the line moved as well. And they had they had jumpers, but uh, with the offensive line moving, it became an easy call for the officials, making it now second and 10. Big penalty there as they did have momentum. And then, oh, fumbled snap. Luckily, he grabbed it, though, and still got positive yardage out of it, did Evans. Just didn't get that snap cleanly. Could have been a lot worse, but he gets two out of it. left side this time and what a run spinning spinning and spinning three spins for Grandison Jr. as he got close to a first down but it's going to be fourth down and they're looking like going like going hurry up again good six yard gain we'll see if they try to draw him off side here and they did. Oh, not in the neutral zone, though. And that's given to the first guy through. And there's going to be a flag down. That's going to be a hold. That's going to come back. So that's going to be negated and maybe make them punt. A nice, a nice run, but that'll be 10 yards back from that. Oh, never mind. Personal foul, face mask. Tell him go, tell him go, go, go. So the great run by Spalding, the great run by Spalding there is going to get 15 more. Seven first downs in this first half. Doing a great job running the football. It's Kenmore Garfield. They go again with that trap. And the Griffin's going to have to make an adjustment because right now Kenmore Garfield just getting off the ball better than they are. It's Grandison again. He's hitting that hole quickly. Give him two. As is four carries for 24 yards. Four minutes and some change here in the first half. And he got some, got some space. And that was Grandison again, spinning his way out of tackle strongly. Grand, 
Give him five, third and a short three. They're continuing to go tempo here. Give us to the second man through, and they get about a yard, and that's it. And again, su surprise, surprise, but the huge stop by Jamatius Portis. Fourth and a yard. No, maybe less than a yard. We're gonna give we'll give uh, Grandison two on that one. <laughs> See if they go hard count here. Inside three minutes now. And we're gonna have what? No indication. Officials timeout. Yeah, I think good call by Coach Boyd or whoever asked for that. I thought it was close enough to measure right away. I think we're going to be about a half a football or a quarter of a football short. We'll check the measurement here in a big one. A game of inches. <laughs> and a game of, not inches, but about a half an inch short of the first down. Kenmore Garfield looks like they're ready to snap it, even with the chains being out there. Now, do you go quick here? Do you go hard count and try to draw them off sides? I think they're going to go quick. They go, f and that's going to be enough of a surge for the first down. A good, again, a good job up front. They're getting off the football very well here in the first half, especially in the second quarter. So they have dominated. Evans gets the sneaker. I'll give him two on that. Needed only about a, two inches. He got about two yards. Jonathan Dilworth, Jameer Gooden and company doing a really good job up front. Mar Marshall Thomas as well on this right side. Big Bryce Owens on the left side of that line creating some holes. Ram's going to burn a timeout here. get that playoff and talk about things. An impressive drive so far for them. 2.25 left here before halftime. Bookdale Griffins 13 and the Akron Kenmore Garfield Rams 6. See if they can finish this drive. They've thrown one pass, one for one passing for Lamont Evans. It was a big gainer to Johnson on fourth down conversion. And they've ran it, but they've controlled, they've done what a running team needs to do. Keep the game close, control the clock, and they've done those things so far. Here they're right up to the line, ready to go. Trying to keep this Bookdale defense on their heels. And Bookdale not ready. They're going to be forced to take a timeout. And with that, we'll take a timeout here. We'll be right back after this break. Back to action here, first down and 10. Full house backfield. And give is to the first guy through, and ooh, he almost breaks it for a touchdown. It almost looked like there was a whistle there, and everybody stopped except for Dwayne Grandison Jr. Inside the 10 yard line to the five yard line, 19 yard gain for Grandison. And this Kenmore Garfield team ready to go. We're inside two minutes here in the first half, and they're not—they're doing two things here. 
controlling the football and also keeping that book to offense off the field. So if they can finish this drive, it would really be an awesome thing for them before halftime. They go left side to Grandison, and he's in the end zone for a touchdown. Kenmore Garfield. And they are having a lot of success on the left side of that line. Grandison, who had a really good 30 yards in that possession. They're going to go for two here, which would give them the lead. And it looked three minutes into this game, ladies and gentlemen, like this was going to be a walk in the park for the Griffins. A couple of bad snaps led to two easy scores. But since then, it's been all Kenmore Garfield as they're going to go for the two-point conversion. Evan under center he gives it to the first man through to the right side Fisher almost got there but he stopped by that Buchtel defense short and they will retain the lead but a great drive by Kenmore Garfield is with 136 left in the second quarter they have cut the Buchtel lead to only one. Oh, thank you One thirty-six left in this one off of that five-yard scamper by Dwayne Grandison. Two-point conversion failed, but all oh, Kenmore Garfield so far. But the Griffins do have a timeout left, and they also have got 136 and big play capabilities. So let's see what they try to do to maybe try to get this momentum back because two touchdowns in the first five minutes for them without the aid of a first down. And that's a big stat in this game right now. Eight first downs in the first half for Kenmore Garfield, only two for the Griffins. Time of possession, Kenmore Garfield has controlled it because they've controlled the line of scrimmage, especially in the second quarter. How will the Griffins answer? We will soon find out. Grandison with seven carries for Kenmore Garfield for 53 yards. Fisher has eight carries for 25 yards. Evans has carried it 10 times. Only seven yards, but he's moved the sticks three times with first downs, and there's a hole. Again, Johnson gets out of bounds. He creates the contact there, so no whistle. Good, good decision. They wanted a late hit, but Johnson's the one that created the contact there out of bounds, but another great run by him in good field position, and now Buchtel has plenty of time to go for it. So first down, just short of midfield, about the 47-yard line. Anthony Talamay can't get caught looking in the backfield. Guard their man. Got three out and two in the backfield. To give us to the second man through. And a gain of about two or three. And that's it for Cook. Marquell Cook, his eighth carry of the game. 43 yards and a touchdown on those eight carries for Marquell Cook. Second down and the clock running here inside a minute. And still 50 yards to go. We'll see if they try to go deep. And a great open field tackle by number two, Chael Johnson. Loss of a yard on the play. And this Kenmore Garfield team playing with some confidence here. And the Griffins look a little, a little rattled right now. Hurry to get this playoff. Play fake, he gets outside, and it's another great play by 
Johnson knocking it away. So he gets the stop on second down and the knock through on third down. 11 seconds left in the half. And I wonder what the Griffin's gonna do here. I'd go for it and throw it deep, but they might punt it away. I don't know, they're keeping, uh, they haven't decided yet. Yep, they're gonna go. Kenmore Garfield without the big play offense, even if they get the ball here, you, you don't expect them to, to score quickly, so. So trips out to the right side here, single coverage to the left, fourth down. Is Kenmore gonna come? They're not sitting to prevent, they're coming. They get along the outside and they go deep. It's thrown up. A lot of contact, but all incidental. Three seconds left in the half. Pass incomplete. In a tale of two quarters here, all Griffins in the first quarter, but all Rams in the second quarter. We'll be one play away here from halftime. And it's been, a, it's been an entertaining one. They'll set it up just inside the 50. So do they take a shot here or do they take a knee and go into halftime with momentum? I th I'd say that's the, the latter is likely. Yep, they're going to take a knee. And with it, we come to halftime. So after one half of play here from Bookdale Community Learning Center, it's the Bookdale Griffins 13 and the Kenmore Garfield Rams 12. We got a dandy here. Stay tuned for her first half stats and second half action. You are watching Akron City Series football here on APSIS. Welcome back here to second half action is the Kenmore Garfield Rams will be kicking off to the Bookdel Griffins to start the second half of play. Um, before we do that, let's look at some first half stats in, in, in a surprisingly really competitive first half. Um, 13-12 year score, the Bookdale Griffins got their two touchdowns really early. One by Cook on a three yard scamper with a short field off a bad snap and another one off of a bad snap. It was Bracey to Portis for a nine yard touchdown reception. And a little onside kick to start the second half and they got a chance, the ball's still loose. And Kenmore thinks they have it. And they do, how about that out of the halftime Kenmore just has been the quicker team to the football, and they get it again to start the third quarter of play here. And kind of trying to keep that momentum where they're at. And Kenmore will get the ball back. Second turnover for the Griffins. And they're back in business here as we start the third quarter. So Kenmore Garfield ball at midfield, and how about that? After this play, we'll go over some first half stats. Runner to the left side, Grandison. Um, give him two yards for Grandison. So second down and eight now. Second down and eight. In the first half, Kenmore Garfield with eight first downs, only two for the Griffins. The Griffins were three for eight passing for 17 yards, had one touchdown and one interception. Kenmore only put it in the air one time, but got nine yards in a huge green. It's Grandison again on that left side, and they have been money running to the left today. That's the halftime adjustment. I wondered if the Griffins would made not the case yet. 23 yard run for Grandison. First down, now nine first downs in the ball game. Kenmore rushed it 35 times for 132 yards, 141 total yards. Griffins rushed it 10 times for 41 yards, 58 total yards, so 141 to 58. And then the two touchdowns in the dominating second quarter, and we got a new ball game. Again, they go that way, and why not? 
Kenmore ran 35 plays in the first half, Kenmore Garfield, and Bookdell only ran 18. So that's, that's the recipe for staying in this ball game right now. That one went to the up back. It's Bradley, and we give him two yards on that one. On Spalding. Second and eight now. They're going to stay in this formation. Lamont Evans stays under center. That T formation, a fumbled snap. And now that looks like the Griffins may get got on top of that. No indication yet. It's going to stay, I think. Fortunately for Kenmore Garfield, Evans saw that thing squirt out and he got on it. It'll be a loss of about two. So third and 11 from the 25 yard line here. Two plays to get those 11. And we're gonna have movement. That's gonna be on the left end for the Rams. They're gonna get number eight, Douglas Rush, a tight end on the left side. Five penalties in the game for Kenmore Garfield for 35 yards. Griffins have been penalized four times for 50 yards. Little quarterback draw, he might go. He does 10-5 and we're gonna get it to the goal line. Evans didn't look like he gave that play. He looks like he just saw a list. He took off, he broke a tackle, which has been the flavor for success here. And there, the, the line just pushes him forward and I think he's in. No indication Lions, yet. 39. Lions, 39. 39. Yeah. 39. Evans takes that one in. So after tw two big gains, a 25-yarder and a 23-yarder, and the Rams with their first lead as he snuck it in from one yard out on his 14th carry. 18-13, and they go left again untouched, and this book will defense. This book to Griffin's defense is getting gashed right now. Let's go. Conversion by Grandison, and they've got something going running left behind Bryce Owens and company on that left side. Austin Droward, and I'll tell you what, yes. Kenmore Garfield has found a formula here. Can they keep it going? Now the book to offense is going to have some pressure on them. Lamont Evans from one yard out, 19-20. Unanswered points for the Rams. And Bookdell just looks flat right now. And part of the reason is their offense hasn't been on the field much. And that's credit to the Rams' dedication and, and game plan and carrying out that game plan right now quite effectively. So they get the onside kick, they take it down and score, and now their defense can get out here with some confidence. They're moving up, let's see if they go deep or if they onside kick it again. I was in a game last year, three in, in one quarter a team got. That's a momentum changer. Uh-oh. Oh, nice job there. Open field tackle. Again, Chael Johnson. He has had a nice ball game. So Evans from one yard. Him and Grandison with a 23-yarder and a 25-yarder by Evans on that possession. And just like this, in the third quarter, we booked now on upset alert. Kenmore Garfield 20, 
in Buchtel, 13. Shotgun formation, split backs for the Griffins. Two receivers set here. And a big run on first down. Uh-oh, 30, 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, and to the house. And just like that, there's your answer. Marquell Cook broke one tackle, and the rest of it was one cut in speed as he got it to the outside. So he showed the strength and the speed, and just like that, it's a 20 to 19 ball game. Short-lived lead for Kenmore Garfield if West can convert on this conversion. Remember, already had one block today. And just like that, and I mean just like that, one play, the Griffins tie it right back up at 20. Kick off now for the Griffins. They kick it deep. This one is returnable now because it's into the wind. Nice cut and return, and the ball is fumbled, and it goes right back to the Griffins. So something woke the Griffins off here. field and we'll take a break here and get things cleared out and then we'll come back to action here with 858 left in the third back to action here griffins with the ball after the turnover they fake the one and they give it on the other side to johnson he breaks the tackle and he's going to get outside 30 20 15 and a big hit down to the 10 yard line 21 yard gain on the reverse for Martavian Johnson. So back to back big plays. And a ton of time left in this one. Just inside nine minutes in the third quarter. Shotgun formation. Nothing doing, good penetration by the defensive line of the Kenmore Garfield Rams there. Cook loses a yard. Devin Bracey, quarterback for the Griffins. Three for eight in the first half, had a touchdown and an interception. Only threw it for 17 yards. Little shuffle pass off to the left. They are up with and that one's going to be a fumble. That's a fumble. He said it's out. Hey, Tiger, 
Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. So the pass completed, but then a fumble. Third, well, wait, wait let's see what's going on here. I don't think they're going to change. Nope. And a huge turnover, so all of a sudden, neither team can hang on to the football here. Back-to-back -back fumbles. And a huge stop again by this Kenmore Garfield defense as they force a turnover. So now it's going to be up to this Bookdale defense. Can they step up? Split up the middle is huge. Nobody over the center, and it looks like you could run for days of well, maybe a quarterback draw. Give there was the Fisher. Give him one yard. Griffins bring some more, bring some more beef in. They go quick hitter again. Better pursuit by the Bookdale defense that time. Jimmy Spalding is going to get a couple. 3rd and, yeah, and about 6 here Tell for him. Kenmore Garfield. Big play. Fact. 11 guys in the box. They go to the second man through. He slithers his way, and it's going to depend on the mark. It's good for a first down. Good run. That was number. First down, Ken Moore Garfield. That one was Chael Johnson, I believe. Quarterback keeper. Man, good. it's three yards with just that quarterback sneak. They'll take that all day. Second and seven now for Kenmore Garfield. They go second man through to the right, and nope. That one, that time they finally corralled Grandison. Just got to the line of scrimmage there, third and seven now. Inside five minutes here in the third quarter. Everybody in the box for Buchtel. And look at chugging the legs, and it's going to be close again with that extra effort on third down for Grandison. First down. Boy, what a game he has had. Oh, and that time, nothing doing right there. Griffins won that battle up front. That's more synonymous with what we're used to seeing with that penetrating defense. 
for Donta Woodridge and a host of others in as that's a loss of one yard for Grandison. They run the sweep to the left. Fisher bouncing off a couple of tackles. He'll get three or four. Bring up another big third and long. As much like a service academy team at the college level, Kenmore Garfield's success is, is based on staying in the game and, and letting that clock churn. And they've done a really nice job for the most part today of getting positive yard. It's not a lot of big negative plays. And that's what you see out of the, the Air Force and Navies when they're, when they're going well in a, in a similar offense to this. How about that cut there on third down? Again, breaking tackles. And when Bookdale watches the film, a lot of missed tackles have really hurt them. Martavian Johnson finally got Spalding, but another first down. 12 total first downs. And we're back out the midfield. Quarterback keeper slithers his way 14, 14, 14. for about six yards there 14. for Evans. He's been a workhorse, 16 carries for him. False start there. It's going to be second and, oh, it looks like nine. And a bad snap. And we'll get to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Third and nine now. Got to hurry up to get this one off. And they do with one second. Quarterback keeper to the left. And he is brought down after maybe a one yard gain. It's going to bring up a fourth down. And with the having the ball in midfield, we'll see what they decide to do. Fourth and about eight. They're gonna go for it here at midfield, it looks like. Now they're looking for the call. Even if they take a delay and punt here, they could do that. And now they're going to use a timeout. Timeout, Kenmore Garfield with 38 seconds. Game called. I'm sorry. Timeout called with 38 seconds here left in the third quarter. That gives me a chance to let you know. About the pre-engineering program, one of the best in the world. Robotics teams have been winners in world and national tournaments. It all starts here at Akron Public Schools Classrooms. Learn more at akronschools.com. Not to mention culinary arts, pet management, cosmetology, masonry, and many more exciting programs offered every day at APS. Visit Akron Public Schools online at akronschools.com. APS Information Station, that's what we are, and... 
That's what this game is brought to you by, you know, the APS. We're enriching, empowering. The E is essential to the development of today's youth. As we get back, big fourth down call here for the Rams. They step back. It looks like they're going to punt and wisely see if they get a nice roll. They do get a, eh, an okay roll, not a great one, but they'll take it. And Bukta will take over after holding defensively on the 25. But we have a ball game, 20 seconds here left in the third quarter, and we're all tied at 20. Man in motion to the left, but they're going to give it to the first back through, and another big gainer. So starting to exert his will a little bit is Cook. He scampers for 15 more yards. Only the fourth first down of the game, although they've had some big plays and short fields to work with, so that's a little misleading. But can they sustain a drive here and get that lead back? 14 seconds left in the quarter. This will be the last play, it looks like. They're going to give it again. Nice cut to avoid penetration by number three, Portis. And he gets about four yards on first down, and that will be the end of the third quarter. And we are all square here, 20 to 20 after three. So we have got a ball game, and it's going to come down to it here. Which defense can step up and make a, a big play? But after three quarters of play, it's Bookto 20, Akron, Kenmore Garfield 20. Let you know at the conclusion of this one, we will pick APS Information Station player of the game. Couple of great candidates right now. Workhorses for Kenmore Garfield in this game have been Lamont Evans quarterback with 18 carries. He hasn't carried it for a ton of yards, but he's got two big touchdowns in there. And also Grandison, he's carried it 12 times, and he's got a touchdown run. For the Griffins, coming on strong in the second half with 80 of his 122 yards has been Marquell Cook, including that big 67-yard run that tied things right back up after the Griffins lost the lead. Also, Martavian Johnson with some big plays in the return game, as well as a 21-yard run on a reverse. He's been done a little bit of everything um, for this team. And for the Griffins, also having a big game, Jamatius Portis, uh, really defensively in the first half, was big. Well, we're going to come back to the run. And again, there's Cook, and he could go. He's gone. Nobody going to touch him. He made one great cut, and he's gone. 58 yards. Marquell Cook said, don't start celebrating left. We're into this ball game. Marquell Cook kind of set up his man real nice inside and then bounced it out with one cut, and he was gone. Great vision by the running back, and the Griffins back on top. You gotta wonder is this Kenmore Garfield defense who's not spent a ton of time on the field, but are they getting tired? Kick is up and it is good. So Marquell Cook with two big plays, and they did a great job in the first half of avoiding the big play. Not so much here in the second half. Cook, two big runs, one for 67, and then another one for 58. First one, he broke a tackle, and then with the distance, that one untouched. And with 11.48 here left in the ball game, the Griffins back on top. Definitely getting a tester and a scare. But now we got to see, does Kenmore Garfield have anything left in the tank? Yeah. 
West going to kick it off, and he's had three touchbacks kicking it this way before. And there's another one. And that's a weapon that not many high school teams have. Kenmore Garfield back to take over here. And we'll see if they can answer now down a touchdown, 27-20. Griffin's winning the battle a little bit more here up front. That one goes to number one. Grandison, and he still gets three yards. And they're certainly not in no rush yet. There's plenty of time left, but they need to execute on this possession to keep that book the offense off the field, which they did so expertly in the first half. And now that one's gonna be down. That one went to Chael Johnson. He is ruled down. Maybe a yard for Johnson. Third and seven now. They're sending everybody. And Buchtel is just teeing off now as they, they kind of knew, looked like they knew what was coming there. Still gets a couple of yards. And it'll be interesting here, fourth down. Mm. Gonna be an interesting call here. You go to Grandison again. Fourth and about three, do you try to get him to jump off? It looks like they may go. Try to get them to jump. They're moving, but nobody jumps. And nope. That one is stuffed on fourth down by the Griffins. Aaron Spoonie and company coming up to support on that one. Nothing doing. Fourth down. Kenmore Garfield takes back over here. Bukta will take back over here with the lead and momentum in the short field. Quick out, Martavian Johnson and a great open field tackle there by number 27. Quentin Kojo with a nice tackle. Johnson gets only two on that one. Split backs, twins to the right, single receiver to the left. And they give that one to Portis. Gets a couple. Third and seven, big play here. What do you think they go to? Cook back into the ball game. 
They send one in motion, but they're going to go back the other way to Cook, and that's been effective. Definite hold back here. That one was easy to spot. It was a late flag that came in, but that one's coming back. Can't miss that one. <laughs> right in front of the play. That one actually sprung Cook. So that one's going to come back, make it about third and probably 18 now, or maybe 14. Eh. Yeah, third and about 18 here after the penalty. Timeout booked. We will take a break and come right back here. 8.28 left in this one. Back to action here. Third and 18 for the Griffs. Send a man in motion. And they're going to fake. Go the screen to Johnson, but it's snuffed out. It's the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Fourth down, now do you punt and pin here if you're the Griffs or are you gonna go for it? Up seven with less than eight minutes left in this one. It looks like they're gonna go for it. And I've seen situations at the high school level where you're trying to punt and pin them inside the five yard line. But if that punt was a touchback, it'd only be about a 15 yard net. Go four receiver set here, twins to both sides. Cook in the backfield. Bracey, he drops back. He's going to go deep. And that one's broke, and it's incomplete, but all the same because they turn it over on downs. A great stop by the Kenmore Garfield defense. And they get it back with a chance here. They want the ball in the hands of their offense. With it's, it's been They've controlled clock. I'd say... Their offense in 739 left in the game, unless they bust a big play, this might be their last chance here to sus for a sustained drive. We've already taken the timeout. So it could be, this could be the ball game here. Adjustment there. They had to send somebody out, get them off the ball, and they did. And they go first man through. Nice spin move. And boy, Grandison has put a clinic on spinning off of, of, of tackles to get a couple extra yards. Hasn't led him to home runs, but it has led him to positive yardage most every time he does it. Second and eight now. The Bookdale defense is definitely. Awaken here, though, right after they got that big play. They, they, since then, they, they've the fives and sixes have been down to ones and twos. Second and eight now. Shotgun formation. Send a man in motion, and they're going to get they're going to get a full act, all kinds of movement. Kenmore Garfield. It's called for the false start. Their seventh penalty. Forty-five yards worth of penalties so far. Take it back to about second and thirteen now. Clock rolls down. That one's given to Fisher. Nothing doing on that carry. So a line of scrimmage and that's it. So third and 12.
Nothing doing on the carry. That one's going to be down by contact. Tried the trap, but Bukto had that one snuffed out that time. Spalding got to the line of scrimmage. Nice hold by the Bukto defense, and with a fourth and 12, it's decision time here at your 30 yard line. Still have a couple times out, timeouts left if they punt. We don't have to get a stop. Looks like they'll punt here, maybe quick kick again. Oh, that one is not. That one not. Only about a five yard punt there. So Bukdo again with good field position. So inside uh, five minutes here, they're going to need one more stop out of their defense. Book going to try to get one more score and put this thing out of reach in a game where they've been tested and trailed even here in the second half, tied after third three quarters. They'll take back over here, up a touchdown and at their opponent's 35-yard line. And there he is again, nice cut back by Cook. He's gonna get, oh, give him about eight on first down. He had 42 yards and nine carries in the first half. In the second half, he's got 140 plus on five carries. Two big plays in there. Obviously, that has been their scoring here in the second half. Markwell Cook. They're going to go to him again. We'll see. Booked on no rush, taking their time. They give it to the second man through, and that's Portis. Portis falls forward for what appeared to be a first down, but nope. It is, it's enough for a first down. Three forty and counting here. And I'd say in these next three or four plays they're gonna need to stop another first down or two and it'll be out of reach because that clock is churning away. I wouldn't expect the Griffins to air it out. They're coming, but he gets a chance and gets outside, gets a little kick block, cuts back, and takes it to the house. Marquell Cook was his third touchdown of the second half and fourth touchdown of the ball game. And that one might just seal it for the Griffins. Really great effort here by Kenmore Garfield to make a game of it, but too much Marquell Cook in the second half. 15 carries, 207 yards, four touchdowns for Marquell Cook. And he's done most of his damage running right. West bangs it through. Griffins, after trailing in this one, 20 to 13, have scored 21 unanswered points to take a commanding two touchdown lead. 313 left in the fourth quarter. It's booked to 34. Akron Kenmore Garfield 20. So last chance time and time, of course, running out here, as we mentioned, 313 left in this one. And as time is running out, that gives me a chance to uh, 
I got to let you know about web-based learning with APS Online. Uh, it helps students who prefer learning in non-traditional school settings. We offer that here at Akron Public Schools and APS Online. Find out more about your choices at akronschools.com. On a chilly Saturday afternoon here, where most people were in shorts yesterday, and then fall smacked us right in the face here this morning. West, I think, with his fifth touchback, fifth or sixth touchback at the game. Question now remains, does Kentmore Garfield have anything left in the tank to counterpunch what Cook has done to them here in the second half? Play fake, a lot of pressure. Evans gets outside, no one to throw to, so he just gets where he can, and he'll be sacked for about a four yard loss. Valiant effort by Evans, looks like it's gonna come up a little short. He did get in the end zone twice. Also touchdown scored by Grandison and Spaulding. Or, no, I'm sorry, just by, by Grandison. Two, two by Evans, one by Grandison. On the other side, it was Jamel Jacobs with the early touchdown reception. Oh, and that one, thank goodness the man was in motion because that one was hiked way over his head. They got a break there. And actually, no. Get two, get two down there. You get no uh, fumble, a timeout called. And with that break, we'll take a quick one here. We'll come back with 2.13 left and the Rams down to their last opportunity. Back to action here with Ken Moore Garfield. Send a man in motion and we're gonna have False start, I, I guess. Keeper to the right side by Evans, and he's just, they're just waiting for him. Nowhere to go. It's the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Inside two minutes now. Keeper along the right side. Give him about five yards on that one. Gonna be fourth and 14. And it's gonna be last, last ditch effort here for the Rams. 121 remaining in this one.
Send two to the right. And we'll bring another one in motion that way. We're going to go that way. And quarterback draw didn't give that one quite enough time to develop. And Bukta was kind of waiting for it. Nothing on the backside to divert their attention. Give them a couple yards and that's it. And they'll turn it back over. And with that turnover, it should give the Griffins a chance to run out the clock. They had a scare and a tester today, but they hung on in the end here. A couple big plays, which the Rams avoided in that first half, but in that third and especially here in the fourth quarter, a couple big plays by Cook. And that's going to be the difference in the ball game. 34-20, your score. See if Buchtel sits on it here, what they decide to do. I'll give you a chance to let you know if, who your APS information station player of the game is, and it, it's pretty uh, it's pretty evident. Um, man, young man that had four touchdowns and ran it for 205 yards on 15 carries. Your APSIS player of the game is... Marquell Cook, the senior running back for the Griffins, 5'10", 180 pounder. And the Griffins in the victory formation. A couple knees should do it here. Valiant effort by Kenmore Garfield, team that was beaten badly by the East Dragons last week. But they came out today and they, they fought and gave it everything they had on the road here. Really challenging the Buchtel Griffins, but just too much more Quell Cook and big plays in the end. Buchtel defense struggled in the middle quarters, but they, they did the job certainly down the stretch when they needed to. Ben don't break, and they do enough to get the job done. A lot to look at film-wise, but at the end, they'll take the win. This game was recorded live, and it will post in seven days on website and social media pages. You can find everything on akronschools.com. Check us out on facebook.com, twitter.com, and YouTube channel, all hashtag er, and slash Akron Schools. And we want to thank uh, everyone as this one wraps up and they'll shake hands. We also want to thank uh, people that make it possible and, and our gr some of our great sponsors, such as um, we yeah, like to thank fathers, members of the community for their continued supports. Um, APSIA thanks Children's Hospital Sports Medicine for their support of Akron Schools and Athletics. Children's Hospital Sports Medicine treating all athletes regardless of age, skill level, or sport. Start your recovery today at Children's Hospital Sports Medicine. Congratulations to the Bookdale Griffins and Ricky Powers as they go to four and three. Valiant attempt by the Kenmore. Garfield Rams as they fall to three and four overall. I want to thank everyone that makes it possible for Ryan Rittenhouse at Command Central and Peter George, the man fighting the elements in the 30 mile an hour winds. I'm Joe Pekanski. Thanks, and we will see you next time. <laughs>